was really going to try to do this without these, uh, because I think King Khan didn't work. So, sorry about that. What a journey the past 39 years has been. A lot's changed in all of our lives, I'm sure, since graduation day of 1974. I'm really happy all of you are here. I'm so happy tonight that we can reminisce about the good times, the not so good times, rekindle friendships, and renew new ones. When Susan Bogger asked Carrie Lorimer and I if I would be interested in planning another reunion, I almost wanted to pretend I hadn't read that Facebook message. I quickly went through my options. A, keep her on Facebook. B, tell her I was really a Lancer at heart. Or, oh, I didn't do that. C, throw up my arms in the air and say, of course. So a year and a half ago, I responded to option C. And even though it's been a lot of work, seeing everybody here tonight has really had me feeling very sentimental about the good old days and very happy. I really thought it would be easier this time because of the internet. But it really wasn't. Um, this morning, for whatever reason, I got out of our 20-year book. And um, I was laughing because my letter to you in the 20 years said, my Brookfield and, white, and Milwaukee white pages are both worn out, and I feel like I'm on a first name basis with the long distance directory assistance operator. <laughs> that was only 19 years ago. Pretty, pretty sad. Um, I got pretty good at stalking many of you. Uh, just, just kidding. But I did try every which way in order to find, you know, as many people as I could. I thought it would really be a lot easier. I would get phone numbers. Oh, bingo! Can't wait to talk to them. And guess what? It was the landline that they no longer have. Should have asked the MSA. <laughs> So I really reached a lot of dead ends, um, trying to find people like our funny classmate Mary Smith. Well, you know, you try to find somebody with that common of a name. And... Unfortunately. So I truly apologize for all the people I was not able to find. A lot of you, thank you so much. You know, we got to be uh, pen pals through email, and you were really helpful about helping me connect with people. So um, the information you build in tonight, that will hopefully help and put the pieces together in the future. As I think back, the most humorous response I received from a classmate was uh, a little while ago, and someone said, sorry, I can't make our reunion tonight, but they couldn't wait to see me at the 40th. I almost started to shake at that one. <laughs> Carrie Lorimer Packer, Susan Gogger Tadeo, and myself, of course, we're on the reunion committee. Um, Carrie is not able to be with us this evening. She's been re-diagnosed with a cancer. So please keep keep her your, and her family in your thoughts and prayers. Um, really want to talk tonight to begin. The hardest part of this whole thing was not being able to find classmates, but finding out the classmates who have left us. So that was truly the reason why 39 instead of 40. You know, we've had way too many people who leave us at a young age. So what I'd like to do is uh, read the list of the many classmates who have left us. And I ask for a moment of silence after I read the 27 names. Rick Becher, Sue Bukes, Kevin Egan, Tracy Gorecki, Dave Gronowski, Greg Hutchins, Bruce Karstad, Kim Canodal, Garnett Collins, Jim's, Jim Kronsnoble, Kurt Krieger, Steve Lindgren, Keith Marshall, Ken Maurer, Tracy Meyer, Pat Menzel, Bruce Michaud, Monica Moser, Jim Nelson, Brandy Osmond, Russ Overhaul, Jim Syrian, Laura Schneider, David Shepke, Patty Thorpe, Bill Whelan, and Richard Westmore. Thank you. As you came in tonight, and as I look around this room, it's filled with so many people I've shared so many memories with. 
Many of my old imperial estates, besties, neighbors, partners in crime are here. I know, I'm going to name names. Uh, let's see, Jeff White, John Quisenberry, Bruce Rogers, Sarah Mirage, yes, Kathy Engel, you weren't exempt from that, Kathy Engel. Um, yeah, we had some good times together, that poor bus driver back then. And Bruce Evil, I'm not going to leave you out of this, Keith Schneider, yeah, I think we all went round and round when the wheels on the bus went round and round together. <laughs> Jade and Thier is here tonight. Where's Jade? He felt sorry enough for me to accept my uh, invite to Turnabout. My husband always laughs at Turnabout. Wasn't it called Sadie Hawkins? <laughs> and I couldn't believe, uh, where's my dear Jeff White? Where are you, Jeff? He's hiding, okay. Couldn't believe he was willing uh, enough to go to prom with me when I dug out my pictures to post on the Brookfield East Facebook page and realized what I wore to prom. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I might have another dress. <laughs> Bonnie Klein is here tonight. She was my maid of, I know Bonnie. She was my maid of honor at my wedding, um, and I'd just like to congratulate her. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, she's the most recent classmate to get married. Congratulations, Bonnie Kirk Nelson. <laughs> reconnected through Facebook. It's been great. Susan has accomplished something wonderful that I'm in the process of doing. She has uh, received her master's from Columbia University this past May. Congratulations. Woo! Remember, we're the only people who knew each other before we were mothers, fathers, or before we had our careers. The exception to that would be some of our high school classmates who actually did marry. Rondi Rohr, Rich Grawley, raise your, raise your hands there. <laughs> Dave Lander and Diane Vegan live in Illinois. Um, they could not be with us tonight. I'm not sure if there's anybody else from our class who's still married to, to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> traveled for 15 different states. P. Hornet, reach me on when I call you. Diane Marcoulier, Paul Sager, all traveled from... Oh, boy, there's a little Diane. Colorado. Colorado. Diane Marcoulier from Missouri. Diane Daniel, Susan Gauger, Ann Olson and Pam Ryderson came from sunny Florida. Bob Schweiker, Georgia. James Olson, Iowa. Bruce Evil and Maggie Shore from Illinois. John Doherty from Kansas, Dave Yeager, Michigan, Gary Kent from Minnesota, Jan Vanette from Nebraska, Sue Dietrich from Oklahoma, Jeff Olson from Tennessee, Kevin Kelly Noodles from Texas, and Cheryl Krieger, Mark McGarvey, and John Strand all came from good old Virginia. bodies may have changed a bit, we can still laugh at each other and still remember some of the silly antics we all pull. Actually, when I look out, you guys are really still a pretty good looking group. What scares me, can you imagine all the old ladies with tattoos who are going to be in the class of 2010's reunion in the future? So what's aging all about? When you're young, you never want to take a nap, and when you're old, Naps are great. When I thought about giving this speech, I almost didn't want to. I mean, I can't even remember what I did yesterday, let alone this morning. Sometimes I forget the names of my own children. Um, oh, that's right, I only have one. <laughs> How am I supposed to remember and make comments on a graduating class 39 years ago? So I started in a logical place, the Brookfield East Yearbook. Open it up. Typical things, great time in Spanish, great time in chorus. Then as I continued on, I read a quite lengthy one from someone who's actually in this room. Here is part of what she wrote that many of you in this room can probably identify with. Wow, we're out of high school. Hard to believe, but after all we've been through, we deserve it, right? A few paragraphs later, she writes, let me know if you ever find a 10, and when you do, hold on to it. But sometimes when you find something to hold on to, it just isn't right, 
and you've got to realize it's part of life and growing up. Use all of your potential wisely instead of living a dream and or trying to reach someone who just isn't there. She ends by reminding me how much she didn't like the fact that I could never just keep one radio station on in the car. Her words said, may your finger get stuck on one station so we hear the beginning, middle, and end of a song, or I'm buying earplugs. Well, Sarah Moraz, I guess I should have had that one of those earplugs. It's been 35 years. Some of our classmates are no longer with us. Parents die, spouses leave, children leave, or grow up and hopefully leave. <laughs> I really want to tell you that all of you get a blue ribbon for being here. Who you are makes a difference. And I'm really, really pleased to see all of you here. Have you ever been guilty of looking at others your own age and thinking, surely I can't do that all. <laughs> And on a story about a, a friend of mine was sitting in the waiting room for her first appointment with a new dentist when she noticed his DDS diploma with his full name. Suddenly, she remembered this tall, dark, handsome man with the same name from her high school class 40 years ago. My friend thought, could that be the one I had that secret crush on way back then? Upon seeing him, however, she quickly discarded any such thought. This balding, gray-haired man with a deeply lined face was way too old to have been her classmate. After he examined her teeth, she asked him if he had attended her school. Well, yes, yes, I did, he said. Well, when did you graduate, she asked. He answered, in 1974. Why do you ask? Well, you were in my class. Then this aging, decrepit, fat-ass, gray-haired man looked at my friend and he said, And what did you teach? <laughs> the fellowship we've been sharing at this meeting is special because we can't attain it with any other group. We are unique. No other group of people on the face of the earth has shared what we shared 39 years ago. We are a one-of-a-kind class today as we were 39 years ago, as we will be tomorrow and forever. So I say it's about time to become reacquainted, share our stories, let's raise our glass, oh. let's raise our glasses, <laughs> and toast to the class of 1974. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.